the roads in Afghanistan have become too dangerous, even for the one-hour drive from Kabul to Logar. From the air, the southeastern province looks peaceful. But on the ground, the devastation caused by a powerful truck bomb days ago is a reminder of how volatile the area is. The hospital is totally destroyed. All the employees are trying to clean the place, the broken glass and the rooms. The staff are trying to rebuild the hospital from nothing in just a few days because the government is not helping us. A few meters away, members of a peace movement set up a tent. They are demanding a ceasefire and want their voices heard. The guest house next to the tent, where dozens of high school students were waiting to take their university entrance exams, has been leveled. The Taliban has been active in Logar for years and the government has blamed it for this devastating car bomb attack. But the group has yet to respond to the accusations. The Logar governor says they have evidence the Taliban carried out the attack. He believes, despite the foreign troop withdrawal, the Afghan Defense Forces can continue to fight the group. And he says he's more concerned about foreign fighters that use the 14-kilometer border separating Logar from Pakistan. The pressure uh, comes on Logar and from Logar then they, uh, the Taliban have uh, foreign advisors like Pakistanis, like uh, Arabs, like uh, uh, people from Uzbekistan, from Tajikistan, the Igor uh, people, they are here, they are giving them trainings, they, they, they are giving them, they are making the car bombs for them. The Western world, uh, NATO is saying, okay, guys, we finished the job successfully, we killed Osama bin Laden, and now we are going. And they are leaving behind a war which fought for 20 years. All these people trained in, in guerrilla warfare, bomb making, and, and lots of other things. They are leaving, international community is leaving Afghanistan to go into chaos. While the government says they keep conducting operations against what it calls terrorist groups near the Logar border, shopkeepers at the capital's bazaar are trying to rebuild their shops. It will take them days to restart their businesses and money that no one will compensate them for. Security is deteriorating day by day. We cannot run our businesses properly. We're working in fear and it's too difficult to have a shop here. I insist that we have a stable peace for our country. And that peace is the one thing everyone longs for. Filio Contrafuri, Al Jazeera, Logar.